of why you look sleepy. Because I am. Wake up. Good morrow, my shoddy bays, my besties. Hello, howdy. Come with us on a road trip. We're going to Dayton, Ohio, because we're going to this book signing. It's called Summer Sizzle, and I'm going to take you guys with us. We are parked outside Starbucks, waiting for our order. Obviously, I ordered online because I don't want any human interaction. We're in for a treat. It's a... How long is the car ride? Six hours. Six hours of Taylor Swift and Harry Styles, baby. Giant's first book event that he's coming with me. I'm so excited. <laughs> If you like this vlog, let me know and I'll do more. Giant colored this picture yesterday when I fell asleep. Isn't it cute? I'm dying here. You're not gonna die. <gasps> love, love, don't turn on the air because they can hear. Love. Yay! I got my coffee. For those of you who are wondering, let me say it one more time. Aaron Blackford. It is a venti iced white chocolate mocha, no whip, sweet cream plum instead, extra caramel drizzle, and then I got a plain bagel toasted with cream cheese. What did you get? I don't know. Venti blended strawberry lemonade. It's okay. I love long drives, but also there always comes a time. Oh my god, look, love Johnny Rockets. Isn't that the the diner we went to. Life is a highway! Road trip snacks have been acquired. So we got two Cokes, we got some Cheez-Its, and then we're sharing this, cookies and cream. I love these. Do you guys like these? Let me know. You're putting it there. <laughs> oh, it's recording. Uh-uh, oh, just that, drive the car. Both of us. I can't, I don't fit in here. Of course you, you fit in there, love. What am I doing here? <laughs> Of course it exists. <laughs> We've arrived, y'all. Giants inside getting Napoli's pizza. Also, I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I love that for me. I love being in the middle of nowhere. We've arrived at our hotel. I definitely forgot to show you guys this before I took a bite, but this is <laughs> this is what we ordered. I also ordered this chocolate cake that I'll be trying afterwards, too. This is all homemade, they said, and this is so good. This is my favorite thing I've ever had in my life. It's literally a pepperoni roll, you guys. It's full of cheese and pepperoni inside. What are your thoughts? Seven and a half. Hi, I'm very tired. I did eat all of that food, so did Giant, and now we're laying in bed. This bed is very comfy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do my makeup. When I come back, you're gonna see me fully ready, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Ta-da, I'm ready. That took fucking forever, and I can't wait to get coffee, but here's what I look like, here we go. Love ya. The coffee has been secured. I'm about to feel like a brand new person. Here we go. Wow, yes. I don't feel my best, you guys. I don't know why. You know when you just like, you, you're not, like you're looking at yourself and you're like, no, that's me right now. Tell me how I watched the entire author panel and I didn't film a single thing, but here I am now. Isn't that so cute? Anyway, look at this store, you guys. Look at this store. I need you to see this store. There is an upstairs, okay? Look how beautiful it is. Are you seeing this? And there's like an hour until the event officially starts because it was the panel and now it's the signing. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna shop, obviously. I'm gonna buy books. I'm gonna buy so many books. I'm so excited. There's Giant holding the books. <laughs> With my Taylor Swift bag. I'm about to go get me Kenny Ryan. It's also the last one. It's the way I just got so distracted. <laughs> Kenny Ryan's right there. Somewhere. Just set that all up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna be Kenny Ryan. I might throw up. It'd be so funny. I would die. I would not be of any assistance. I'd just be laughing. You would laugh if I just threw up. Yeah. Oh man, I gotta unlock your phone now. Hold on. Hold on. I got the password. It's a law school. You should be able to do this. It's our message. Yes. I love you. Look at her book sleeve, y'all. And I signed it. I love you like I love rainy days. The most beautiful person I've ever met. She got me a gift and I'm gonna throw up. I'll show it to you guys when we're in the hotel and I may cry. Update, I haven't filmed anything. Here's Eamon though. Hi, I'm sweaty. <laughs> you know, did I tell you the story one time my dad was like, he saw my highlight, this yeah. right here, and he was like, you look so sweaty. No, and I was didn't. like, no, he did. Oh, Called me God. out and I was like, 
that's my Fenty Beauty highlight. <laughs> I look beautiful. It's sweat, but it's like make it aesthetic sweat. So Everybody in line for Lily. Them in line there. There they are. <laughs> Everybody's so nice. I'm so excited to be here. I'm sitting on the floor for Lucy's score. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> Iconic. Here. I'm getting these signs. I'm so excited to eat. I don't know what I'm going to eat afterwards, you guys. Oh my god, nobody told me I had eyeliner on my eye. And you guys didn't tell me. That's so rude. I fixed it, everyone. Nobody needs to worry. I'm just here with a bunch of besties. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Giants downstairs purchasing books. As he should. As he should. As he should. I'm dying dead, everyone. RIP me. Rest in peace, me. Hashtag. I had so much fun. Jaya and I are going to go eat. I'm literally going to take off my makeup, my hair. I'm going to take off these clothes and get into comfy ones. And then we're going to go eat at Spaghetti Factory. Spaghetti warehouse and then we're gonna go um, to watch Transformers and when I get home tomorrow morning I'm gonna give you guys a full haul because I not only purchased a lot of books, but also I got a lot of books I got gifts that people gave to me that I literally have to fucking show you I want to show you the pictures I took with everyone I'm very excited to debrief and talk about everything but it will have to be tomorrow you guys this was crazy There were people there that were excited to meet me I'm so shocked and excited and happy and, and overwhelmed and so, so happy. I went a little crazy and I bought so many people books. I bought Kiss the Sky. I bought The Love Wager. I bought Twisted Hate and Twisted Lies. I was like buying everything. I bought the whole store. Not only that, but then I bought myself books. I'm in severe credit card debt. You know that sound? That's going to be me after when I check my bank account. But who cares? I was having the greatest time. And everybody I met was so sweet. I just wanted to sob. Like, there were several times where I just sat on the floor and, like, wanted to sob. Because it was insane. I love you guys. I love you so fucking much. If I ever meet you, I love you. I want to give you the biggest hug. I want to talk to you about books, about Taylor Swift, about whatever. And just have ourselves a time. Because, wow, this was great. Diane and I are going to dinner. You guys, I have to, I have to give a props to Giant because he, like we need to hype him up for a second because he carried every single one of my bags, my books. He kept running back to the car and putting books away. He kept taking all the pictures, making all the videos on my camera. He got me water. He like was standing in every line. He was doing the most, literally the most. I love you, I love you, my little love. Get yourself a Giant. <laughs> Highly recommend. Um, if you get it on Amazon Prime, it'll come within two days. Good morrow. I really, really crashed yesterday after the Transformers movie. Um, thoughts on the movie. Do you want to know? I'll tell you. I really enjoyed it. I don't know what it is, but there's something about the way Optimus Prime says, Autobots roll out that's just gonna do it for me every damn time yesterday one of the shoddy bays that's been subscribed to me for literally as long as i can remember she always sends me books she always comments on everything like she's literally one of the sweetest people i've ever seen in my entire life her name's maria she couldn't come yesterday because she didn't know that there was a book event right next to her and she's literally only 30 minutes from here so she messaged me and she was upset spaghetti and i was like upset not maria let's go to starbucks tomorrow morning and i'm gonna buy her a coffee so I'm on my way to go do that now, to go meet Maria. I'm very excited to say hello, how do you? So anyway, let's go. Also, it's about to rain. Let the rain fall down and wake my dreams. You guys remember that song by Hilary Duff? Here's Maria. Look at her, she's so cute. And look at our coffees. Wait, let's cheers. We have to cheers. Cheers. Wait, what did you get? I got a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. Ooh. I got that. You had to get your... Yeah. Yo, we stopped in like a rest stop plaza thing and look how nice it is. This is no rest stop. Oh, what is this? It's like a market. We stopped in a market and I found a Brazilian place. Look at this. A gente pegou picanha e outra picanha, sanduíche. Olha! Pão de queijo e claro, Guaraná. I'm back home, as you can see, with all of my things. <laughs> I am ready to give you a haul. So I'm gonna start with the books I purchased because I feel like, I don't know why. <laughs> 
Don't even ask me what these books are about. Don't even question it because I could not tell you. I could not tell you. I don't know. I don't know the answer to these questions, these very difficult questions. So how about you just mind your business and let me do what I do. Ta -da! So we have The Plus One by Maisie Eddings. Um, I read the dentist book by her. Lessons in brushing, brushing your enemy, brush, brush. Brushing a friend, brush with me. It's something about brushing and it's her first book. Did not like it, okay? But I'm giving Maisie Eddings another shot, another opportunity. Not that she needs to prove anything to me because she does not know who I am, but because I wanna try it and it looks so cute. So I bought it, the plus one. Do I know what it's about? No, seems like it's a wedding and they bring each other. Then I got Once More Upon a Feeling. No, Once More With Feeling. <laughs> I'm tired. I read also the first book by this author, which is funny you asked me. I didn't love it, but I liked it. And I definitely liked her writing style and I love the cover. And this one matches the cover of that one too. So figured I needed it, just came out. So I was like, why the fuck not? Then I also bought this because at the panel of the authors that I, for some reason did not record because I was sitting front row and I was very nervous, didn't want to record because or else all the authors would have just seen me with my camera like in their face. And that felt aggressive. You know what I mean? Also, did I tell you that in the middle of the panel, okay? There's like a bunch of people sitting down watching Kennedy Ryan speak in the mic. She looks at me, she spies me in the crowd and she goes, oh my God. Larissa. Hi, Larissa. Hi, sweetie. I see Larissa right there. <gasps> I turned tomato. I was so excited. So excited. I think my soul left my body. Anyway, that's besides the point. I didn't want to record that, but in the panel, one of the authors was like, oh, a recent read of mine that I loved is a second chance romance where the couple like goes on a safari and it's like very rom-com and fun and, and spicy or whatever. And it, it's this one, Jaina Goes Wild. And I saw this at the store a little while ago. And I remember I told Lauren like, oh my God, this book looks good. And she was like, no, no, you're not buying that. And I was like, oh, and so I didn't buy it. And now Lauren wasn't there. So I could do whatever I want. I bought it. <laughs> And if it's bad, we're just gonna blame, not me, obviously, because it's never my fault. Jaina goes wild. Larry also goes wild with Jaina. Then I got Five Survive because I obviously love thrillers lately. I especially love YA thrillers with a little bit of everything. And I hear this one is amazing. I also like Holly Jackson. I read another book by her. I don't remember what it was. I think it was, oh wait, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm stupid. <laughs> A Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy by her is one of my favorites. Literally, I rated the last one five stars. And of course, I want to read this. It says, eight hours, six friends, five survive. I'm excited to see some people die and some people survive. Then I got this last one just because I think it's beautiful. Oh my God, the... What? I was just gonna say I bought One for the Enemy by Olive Blake because I love Olive Blake. I love the Alice Six. It's one of my favorite books. But look at this. I opened it. One for the Enemy. Do I know what it's about? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It just says, be but mine. Dun, 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 dun. There's like blood on the cover. I love all of you, Blake. Those are the books that I purchased. Those are the ones that I had time to purchase. I kid you not, I had like less than an hour. I couldn't browse that entire store and then the signing was actually starting. And so I just grabbed whatever I could find and bought it. So it was this. Then these are the books that I received and that I got them signed from Books A Million. So here we go, let's see. So first of all, they gave this shirt. Oh my God, I love this shirt, what? What the fuck? That is so cool. Look at this shirt, look at this shirt. Look, it has all the tropes. Puppy Sunshine, that's me and Giant. Wow, I'm so excited to wear this. Ooh wee, I hadn't even seen that. I'm so excited, I'm gonna throw up. Then, these are the ones they gave for me to get signed. So of course, the new Kingmaker edition by Kennedy Ryan, my queen, my favorite person in the entire world. I would die for her. That was dramatic but true. Then Dare You to Hate Me by be Celeste, she was so fucking sweet and cute. She was wearing the most adorable dress. She was giving Devil Wears Prada and I wanted to die. Like she was, wow, wow. I was speechless once I saw her. Then the stand-in, look at this cover. I need you to stare at this cover until you just are like blue in the face. Look at it. Wow. Are you dying? Yeah, I figured you were. This one is by Lily Chu. She was so sweet. She even like gave me a little sticker that says, I like big butts. Books. <laughs> books and I cannot lie. <laughs> and then The Gay Best Friend, which happens to be one of the books that I'm going to be starting next. I really want to read this one. And let me tell you why the author was literally one of the sweetest people I've ever met. This other one by Lily Chu, look, The Comeback. I think it's the next one in this series. This one's the first one and this one's the second one. <gasps> Doesn't that look so cute too? <gasps> wow, Lily with the best covers. And I think this is gonna be a trilogy too, she was saying. 
I think she said that. I may be lying. Don't don't write it down. Don't quote me on that. Then of course Mia Sheridan was there, so um, they gave me the stinger. It's just called stinger. I don't know why I said the stinger. What does stinger even mean? Can we talk about that for a second? Oh, his name is Carson Stinger. <laughs> It's his last name. And we all know I love Mia Sheridan. Archer's voice is one of my favorite books of all time. I got to tell her that in person. Also, I brought the book for her to sign and Archer's voice, my Archer's voice is so annotated. Let me show you, hold on. It literally looks like this. Like, it looks like this. She saw this. She saw every single one of these tabs. How embarrassing for me. Then of course, Lucy Score, my queen. Um, Literally my favorite fucking ever. I already have things we never got over signed and same with Rock Bottom Girl, but I didn't have these three signed, so. I did get them signed there by a thread because I really like that one. Things we had from the light. I don't really like that one, but it's so pretty that I was like, it's light. And then I bought this one. <laughs> Pretend you're mine. Um, I haven't read this one and I'm very excited for it because I love Lucy's score. Have you noticed how thick her books are? Like help. What is this? Lucy, what is this? How much do you have to say, girl? And then the other two authors that were there, also their books right here. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? These are fantasies. So this is A Crown of Ivy in Glass. And it's book one in a trilogy, Claire Le Legrand. Look at this cover. And then there's this one, The Curse of Saints. And it's Kate Dremis. Has she been sent to save the world or destroy it? Ooh. Okay, I'm excited for this. Look at the cover. It's so fun. Those are the two fantasy ones that I had. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, I've committed a crime. I'm a thief. I stole these. Love, I stole these. I was wearing these to take pictures like in front of the little photo session and then I was supposed to put it back. And like there were a bunch of them though. There were like 15 of them, but I was supposed to put it back and I forgot it was in my bag this whole time. Oh, I've stolen them. Oh no. Books a million if you're watching this, Bloom, turn away. Look, look away, you didn't see anything. No crimes were committed here, not by Larry, not me. But I'm gonna wear it so that the crime at least was worth it. So those are all for the books that like were given to me and slash I bought. But I wanna talk about gifts that beautiful Shoddy Bays brought me because this is my favorite part and I need to dedicate a whole section to this. First of all, these three books. The Nanny, which everybody has been talking about this. It's like a spicy rom-com book. And look at this. The beautiful Porsche literally wrote on it. She wrote, I love you, enjoy the rom-com of the year for me, Porsche. <laughs> she rated it five stars and I need to show you more gifts she gave me, but thank you so much. Wow, I'm so excited to read this, especially because you rated it five stars. If you see me rating it one star, look away. I really hope I don't because we, we have the same taste. We all have the same taste. Anyway, and then these two, I know you guys are screaming at this one because you're seeing a quart of frost and starlight in my hands. <laughs> And then this one, Arrows and Apologies, which is like part of the rest of the series by Savar Miller. I have the rest, so I'm so excited to have this one. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna read it. It says, thank you so much for changing my life. You were the sweetest person ever, love, Abby. And then the other one says, thank you for everything. You have changed my life so, so much. I love you, Ava. Literally, Abby and Ava were some of my favorite people to me in the entire world. They were so sweet. They were so sweet. I talked to them for so long. Not only did I get to meet them and hug them and talk to them, but they also bought me these. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you so much. If you're watching this, just know that I love you and I will cherish these forever, especially the little notes you left inside. Thank you so much. I just, I love you guys. It was so amazing to meet you, to hug you. It was so amazing. Wow, I'm crying. Look at me. Anyway, look at the pictures. Do you want to see the pictures? Here are the pictures of, of me meeting everyone. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? Are you watching? Look at this. I'm sorry. Back to Abby and Ava. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. And then are you ready for this? Are you ready? The amazing, amazing Jill came up to me and gave me this card that says Larry on it, okay? Look at this. It's the cutest fucking card in the entire world. It says, Larry, have a few caramel drinks on me. Thanks for keeping me entertained and putting a smile on my face, Jill. She gave me a Starbucks gift card and then literally she brought me a Celsius. <laughs> Fuji Apple. <laughs> you guys know I love Fuji Apple. Anyway, thank you so much, Jill. I'm so excited to have this tomorrow at the gym. I'm so excited to use my Starbucks gift card and to keep this card for my entire life. I'm literally gonna put it on my bookshelf. I'm not gonna put it inside here. I'm gonna put this on my bookshelf like this because I love you so much. Right next to Abby and Ava. Now is the moment that we're going to cry all together even more because remember Porsche that I told you that she got me the nanny, okay? I just need to show you what she brought to me. I need to show you, okay? Look at this. 
Are you watching this? This literally is like a Larry cup, okay? She made it. And it says, uh, order for Larry reads, one pump of clumsiness, one pump kindness, two pumps laughter, five pumps book, and 10 pumps giant. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Inside, there's so many cool things. First of all, look at how cute this is. It's gonna go next to all my cute little stuffed animals. What should I name this one? Love, do you have a cool idea of what to name this one? This is Felix. This is Felix the frog, everybody. Anyway, so Push put that. Then she put an orange Celsius inside. <laughs> These two plus strawberry lemonade are my entire life. So the fact that this is what both of them brought me just shows how well they know me and that makes me so happy. Look, there's a plant. So I'm gonna put this on my bookshelf, of course, because I love fake plants. I don't know how to take care of real ones. So then she gave me a mug, which I will be using for my coffees. Then a bunch of different stickers that I'm gonna put on my Kindle or my water bottle. Look at the candle, you guys. Look how cute this candle is. Oh my God, wait, it's a dark coffee candle. <gasps> oh my God, it smells like coffee. <sighs> wow. And then she left the cutest note ever, which I will not read to you because it's for me. <laughs> and then here's my order again. Isn't that so cool? Of course, I'm gonna put also this in my bookshelf and a Starbucks gift card. So, shall I cry one more time? You're not ready for the best part. You're not ready. I need to get close for you to see this. Look at this. It's me as a dragon and I'm holding a book. Oh my God, are you dying? I'm gonna put this on my bookshelf. Porsche, thank you so much. I already thanked you in person. I already hugged you. I already said how much I love you, but I need to say it a million times over and I needed everyone to see how much I love you because this meant the world to me. I didn't expect anybody to bring me absolutely anything. You never need to do that. But the fact that anyone went out of their way to come say hello, to come give me a hug, to come take a picture, to come literally just be like, oh, I love you, and then bring me something, that's absolutely insane. I love you so much. If you ever see me anywhere, please feel free to come say hi. I will be so excited. Don't be nervous, I promise it's okay. I know how it is to get nervous and anxious to like talk to anyone, because I'm like that too, but I promise you guys are all my best friends and it feels so normal to talk to you that it won't, it won't be awkward, I promise. I bought a pinky promise, come here. I love you, this made, made my entire day, summer, weekend, forever. I will never forget this. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The next signing I'm going to is Book Bonanza. So if anybody's going to Book Bonanza, I will see you there. I'm very excited. Thank you, I love you, I love you, I love you. To Abby, to Ava, to Porsche, to Jill. I love you, I love you, I love you. This video is over now because I'm gonna go like put all this away and then sleep until the end of time. Yeah, okay. See, see you on the next one. Love ya, love ya so much.